Man, I have all this change and nothing to put it in. Welcome back to George's Gadgets. Oh God. Welcome back to George's Gadgets, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to. Welcome back to George's Gadgets, everyone. I'm George, and today we're doing another video where I browse the internet looking for cool things to print. Today we're going to talk about Lobo CNC's remix of this awesome iris box. And it's kind of funny, I told myself that I wouldn't print anything out in white anymore because it overexposes while I'm trying to film stuff. But I did it anyways on this because I had to redo this and I wasn't thinking. My first go at this was a silver one and it came out really nice. I used Octolapse to print it out. And when it came off the bed, it came off super simple because I have the MK3 and that bed is amazing. But enough about Prusa. I think I've been a fanboy enough. I want to give a quick shout out to Wild Rose Builds. I won a competition off of his channel and I got this awesome Mario. So Mario is going to be checking us out while we work on this. It came off the bed and what you have to do is you have to cut 16 little tabs that hold up the leaves of the iris. And after you do that, then you get a screwdriver and you kind of pry the, you, you, you pry the base away from the actual rotating mechanism. I was cutting the tabs, you know, I, I broke it away with the screwdriver, just like it says on the Thingiverse page. And I was still having major issues. It was not rotating. And so I got a pair of pliers and I was squeezing on it and I was crushing it with my foot. I was trying to do everything I could to break it open and, and well not break it open, but break away whatever was connecting the leaves to the edge. Eventually what happened was it broke. So it's kind of cool in the sense that now you get to see how this thing works um, up close, but it's not cool because I just wasted all of this filament and this print. So you can see the pegs, they hold the leaves in place. And then as you twist this, it pushes them up and then they end up rotating around the, the lip and it, it closes. The issue that I had with this one is that for whatever reason, I think it's the octolapse, but the pegs welded to the leaves. Um, and so it didn't, it wasn't able to rotate. And I didn't realize that this is where I needed to pry I thought that maybe there was just slight stringing that was connecting these things, and it wasn't that. So when I was using the pliers and popping it open, it broke along the layer lines, and then I got this. A tip if you're trying to print this out, um, which I recommend everyone, I think it's really cool. Not only do, do you get to see if your printer is calibrated properly, but it comes out really nice. And I got a cool little piggy bank, not your run-of-the-mill ordinary piggy bank. And since I don't really do a good job of saving, I keep buying 3D printers and filament, um, I can open it back up when I want to buy something. Some tips for when you print this out. Cutting the tabs is important, just like it says on the page. And then using the screwdriver is important. But what I found is, is you get your screwdriver and you crack open the, the places where the pegs would be located. And you use your screwdriver to pop that off so that it can rotate freely. Once I did that on this, after seeing it on the one that I broke, it was able to, to work a lot faster. I think it took me about 10 minutes of prying and poking and, and trimming with an X-Acto knife to finally get this rotating accurately. What I wanted to ask everyone though, is, and I'm curious, you can see the layer lines right here. They're kind of like protruding. And I don't know exactly what's causing this, but it's been happening more and more on my Mark II. And so I was wondering if anyone has an answer as to why that's happening, um, maybe help me out and, and fix that printer. But besides this, I have a Raspberry Pi webcam video coming out showing you how to set up Octolapse and putting a webcam on your Raspberry Pi Zero. I got the Mosaic palette, which I'm super excited about. That's gonna be coming in so I can do a trial and error and review on that. Uh, printing in multiple colors is something that I've always wanted to do, but it's just been out of my price range and I was able to save up enough to finally get it. If you guys print this out, you let me know, tag me on my social media, all the links are at the end of the video. I really, I like hearing from all you guys. I love all the comments. I try to reply to all of them. If I don't get to you quickly, I apologize. If I don't get to you at all, that's my fault and I just missed it. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for subscribing. Share this video with your friends. Check out my Minas Tirith City of Kings one if you haven't yet. And uh, we'll see you next time in the next video. Thank you very much. And that's always refrain from doing this the whole time that I'm filming this because this is a lot of fun. 
Um, 